Hi everyone, this is Army Diamond for Chef on Twitter. If you like my channel, please subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new uh, functionality of the Copilot in the 365. Of course, you need to be uh, have a license, and once you go into the home of Microsoft 365, you should also be uh, be possible to uh, find the Copilot app. If you don't find it, you can go to more apps and look for it. Uh, once you do that, you can pin it to the side and actually uh, now I have it here. Um, so um, now let me show you what we have here. So I want at first, first to, I, as you can see here, I have a work one, which is the license one and the web one, which is a free one, which doesn't look in the 365. So I will choose a prompt here, write me an email, blah, 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 no matter what it is. And now it's writing uh, something. So I have a whole uh, load of things. And notice at the end, uh, what I can find here is I have edit in this page, or I can copy. What it does, it actually creates a new page where uh, I can store all of the things I want and uh, we soon can see where is it stored. Now to this I can of course add and change and do anything. So as you can see here um, this is the page and if I click here go to page it should take me to where all the pages are stored. Currently I think uh, because the tenant or the feature is new it brings me to the home page of Microsoft 365, uh, but as I understand, there should be a, a page a icon here that will show you all of the pages. But let's see what we can do here. Actually, we can share it. So we can copy the page link, and if I copy it, I can open it and paste it in the mail, or I can paste it in Teams or wherever I want. So here you see actually I'm pasting it here and look where it's storing it and storing it in loop. Okay, and then if I share this with other people, then they can update. Uh, I can also choose if to add it to, if I do this, I can add it to a workspace and I can copy it. Um, another thing, as you can see here, it's possible not only to copy the link, but to copy it, the component. So if I paste it here and I go, for instance, to uh, Teams or anything else, let's go to Outlook. And let's see if I paste it here, it will actually create a loop uh, component. So let's create a mail and I will paste this and you see this whoever, who, whoever I send it to can work on it and uh, it can be also in Teams. So uh, this is very interesting and uh, initially I thought that uh, loop pages are in OneDrive but it seems that it's stored somewhere different or at least uh, this is Let's add to demo loop. And if I go here to demo loop, I should uh, see also uh, this article. And I can update and share with people. Um, let's go back. And actually, I wanted to show you additional thing. Um, so uh, just like I see here, I noticed that there's a visual creator. So let's click on it and see what we have here. So um, from what I understand here, it's possible to generate all kinds of visual art or ask um, the copilot to create something. So uh, at first I will generate ideas to see if it can give me some ideas for prompts. 
so let's choose let's say generate a scene some let's take this one and paste it and let's see what it shows me uh, I could choose uh, or write anything here uh, you know let's say uh, draw me a <coughs> picture of a man in a in the pool okay let's try this draw a, a picture of a man in the beach so let's paste this and let's see what will it give me hopefully now it will also so this is the one from the 20th century and here we should soon see um, a man in the sea and um, <clears throat> this is actually uh, what is possible um, now in the copilot regular one free one um, to be honest if I try to take the prompt and try to do it not for the visual visual creator but um, on the regular copilot it hopefully should give me here you see the the thing so let's just try to take another one can you create a mountain land this one i will try to do in a copilot and let's see if it gives me also um some visual uh, creator maybe the visual creator is more specific or the copilot is more general and the visual creator is more specific uh, but we see here actually that also in the co-palette, if I choose to, to do this, it should uh, create it. Now you see it's using the Microsoft um, Designer. It seems like it's in preview, but uh, it seems like it's going doing a good job. So here is the thing. So, and of course we can uh, change all kinds of things. So this is the first overview, hopefully you learned something, uh, please add in the comments anything you think and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel, goodbye.